Hi, this is Trey Pastor. They released a teaser trailer for Doom Patrol Season 3, which is my favorite uh, DC show. Uh, it's going to be on HBO Max, of course, obviously, and it starts, I think, September 23rd, I believe. Okay, so it's a, about a minute and 10 seconds, so I'll be back with my reaction. I'm just super pumped for this. Okay, put my headphones on. Here we go, right now. Go. <sighs> Left off. Eminent. My God. Max there are mysterious things in this world that they're keeping an eye oh, on. My God. I think there's something he needs to show me. Oh. We appear to be dead. How do you want to be remembered? Was there another way or oh. not? Wake up. You're oh. in danger. Piffle Puffle, Bindi. What the hell happened? Piffle Puffle. There is something weird going on. Piffle Puffle, Bindi. They are coming oh. for us. But what does it all mean? It's your own damn question. It's those Dada freaks. Why does this crap keep happening to us? What you're experiencing is the eternal flagellation. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? We're all the way through the looking glass now. Oh. Oh my god that is just so bizarre okay uh but i can't wait for that uh that's like the best show okay it's like the best it's the best show out there it literally is okay doom patrol i've loved it from the beginning uh when they even showed like i said um on the titans they had a little sneak preview on the titans when they introduced the characters and of course they switched the actor who played uh the doctor, uh, the chief, they switched it and put Timothy Dalton in there, uh, which was a great addition, okay? And again, this show is just fantastic. You know, they just, they were showing a lot of different bizarre things, but um, I'm a big fan of, of the Doom Patrol, obviously, and the and the, uh, the comic book. I remember, uh, what's the gorilla is called? Uh, this is, I forgot his name. Not, it's not a, it's not Grodd, right? It's a d different name. Munch, it's like a French name, which I can't remember, I think, right? And I know there was a character in the comics, you know, the little brain thing, and then it was the gorilla, which I can't try to remember if it's not, it's not, I don't think it was Grodd. That wasn't Grodd. It was um, something, I can't remember his name. And he wore like a, yeah, you know, like a gun, you know, like, you know, like, like the bullet thing, like strap that, that, you know, like the cowboys used to have, you know, over Munch, I can't remember, but I remember the Titans, you know, fighting, you know, uh, uh, facing off against, you know, Doom Patrol, not Doom Patrol, against, uh, was it evil or something of evil, right? Those, it was the brain, uh, you know, the gorilla uh, character and Pism, I think that was the, he was the, like the telekinesis guy, and I think there were, and then there was the uh, the woman, uh, I, can't, I, I just, I remember that. I just remember those characters, and I, hopefully they'll be on this season. And definitely, uh, we definitely want to see what's happening with Crazy Jane, especially the way it ended with Crazy Jane in season, you know, season two, with her and, and the, you know, just to see everything, see how that's, you know, that that obviously, you know, what happened with her. That's what I'm waiting to see because again, and it says Amy nominated, which definitely deserves, and I definitely the actress uh, who plays Crazy Jane should, should definitely win an Emmy for her portrayal. Okay, and this show should be the best writing and stuff, and just the show's just fantastic. Definitely check it out if you get a chance before it premieres September 23rd. Check out the first two seasons. You won't be disappointed. This show, to me, is the best uh, tele uh, comic book show on TV. Okay, like I said, uh, I knew about the characters from the comic books and, and you know, animation, but this live-action version of Doom Patrol has been the writing from the beginning, the acting, everything has been fantastic from the beginning with this show. And to me, like I said, I think I made a video on my other channel uh, where I talked about, you know, the DC, DC shows and Marvel shows. And I think I put this show as the best out of all of them because to me it is. This Because the writing, it's, it's a weird show. It's a mix of, like, uh, weird science fiction and, and but family and, and heartbreak and characters getting to get over stuff and, and then coming together as family. And, again, if, every character to me, from Crazy Jane... Elastic Girl, Robot Man, uh, Negative Man, Cyborg, even the Chief and his daughter, they all, all those characters have, they're complex. They're not simplistic. 
not simplistic. They're, they have interesting backstories and the, the interaction between those characters and then the other characters that they pull in from side time to time is just absolutely fantastic. And to me, this show is, I can't wait for this show to, to start on the 23rd. I'll definitely be uh, uh, reviewing that as well. That show is, just, is, to me, it's just the best show it is. It's just the writing, everything has been perfect from the beginning. And I hope, like I said, the actress who plays Crazy Jane, she should win an Emmy without a doubt. To me, she plays so many different characters and stuff and she does it with effortlessly and just, I'm sorry, she just deserves that Emmy. I just, just hand it to her because to me, she's the best. Anyway, let me know what you think of this teaser trailer for Dupedo season three. Remember it got kind of cut short because of uh, COVID and stuff. Uh, so that, you know, it looked like they, you know, with that little teaser they picked up right where they left off. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. Also have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Also have a link to my other channel, Follow Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. Also have a link to my Patreon down below. Please check that out as well. And I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. And I want to say thank you to him for supporting me. And again, my patron's only $5 a month. And again, the last thing I put on my patron was uh, Stargirl Season 1. You, ha you have that up all 13 episodes and... Starting tomorrow, uh, Stargirl Season 2 starts, and I'll be reviewing that, Season 2, and also Superman and Lois, which has the final two episodes, and also Titans, which starts uh, Wednesday, not the Wednesday, not Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm also going to be doing What If, but uh, I think as far as Titans is concerned, Titans is concerned, I'll just be doing the, my regular review that I did, I think, for the first two seasons. I won't do an edited reaction to that on this channel. I'll use, I'll have it, my unedited reaction on my Patreon. Again, link is below. For Titans, so I'll definitely, if you, you know, sub to my uh, uh, patron, you'll definitely see the unedited reactions, my unedited reactions to the Titan season three, okay, which I'm looking forward to. And this is Trey Pass saying so long and take care.